1, 2, 3, let's do it Hello and welcome to Scott Center. I'm Scott Lozon. And hello, I'm the queen of football. <laughs> Love the last name, by the way. Well, thank you, your highness. I took a page out of Jonathan Owen's book and decided to capitalize on my far more successful and beautiful wife's notoriety and acclaim. Good for you, young man. I can't believe we were able to book you for week one. You're definitely our most highly acclaimed guest. Well. You're not wrong. <laughs> Suck on that, Jesus. I'm just happy to give my royal blessing to a select few this year. Speaking of highly acclaimed, how's Christian McCaffrey doing for you, Brian? Yeah, suck on that. Language. Oh, I am so sorry, your highness. No, I mean use more explicit language. If you're going to go for it, go for the jugular. Like that guy that shot Ricky Pessel. Oh, that is cold, your majesty. Well, it's been an interesting first week to say the least. The Bears made more NFL history. It's the first time since 2002 that a rookie QB won their week one matchup. Thanks to their new QB, Jalen Johnson and their fired up defensive line. Funny, fired up defensive line is what I called all of Hannah's comebacks during our first season. <laughs> and another great win for me, the Packers were the only team in the NFC to lose their first match of the season. You know, I try not to play favorites. So I don't. I play least favorites. Fuck the Packers. Fuck yeah, Queen. Royalty fist bump. Can we run that back again? Royalty fist bump. I would run it back five more times, but Nate already did that in the draft by taking five running backs in a row. This really is a chaos league. Just like the Lions-Rams game, the first game of the year to go into overtime. The Bengals also looked more like kittens than tigers in their first outing. But Joe Burrow can slay that pussy anytime. Your Majesty! What? I'm old and not dead. And with that, let's go over this week's matchups. Coach O'Shea can now proudly say it was the first win over our beloved commissioner, Bushwood Country Club. Rob Lowe's NFL hat needed a defibrillator after a tough defeat to the Brady Cardians, who officially beat our current champion. Sexual Tyrannosaurus beat all these nuts in your mouth in a blowout first outing, with both managers touting the two highest scores of the week. The tale of Scrony McBooger Balls will remain untold, as he sucked on Mr. Chicago's wet, hot Italian beef. Pipe Daddy snakes his way to victory over our league underdog R.I.P. Steve McNair. Who would have thought prioritizing Young Wei Ku in the draft wouldn't lead him to a win? And the little sluts pegged the Big Dirty, who somehow thought drafting the Jets' defense in round 10 was a good strategy. Well, that's it for this week. So? Where's the after party? Queen of football, you party? It's pretty sick doing lines with money that has your face on it. Thanks for the inspo, Alex Edelman. Well, shit, I'll bring the gravity bong. And remember, I'm like a knight of the shining armor. Good night, America. That is a horrifying hat. I want to pet that doll. Oh, pet that doll. <laughs> What's that bear doing? What's that bear doing? <laughs>